Hi, and welcome to this edition of MyMetroTV.com Daybreak. First stop to the rest of the weekend. I'm Frederick Knight. Thanks for joining us this morning. Coming up on today's show, we're going to take a look at the transparency bill brought forward by several state legislators following the ethics violations levied against Governor Nikki Haley. Also on the way, we'll take a look at the Benedict College Trayvon Martin protest. We've got the MyMetroTV.com Movie Minute and more as we get underway with today's edition of MyMetroTV.com. Daybreak! First stop to the rest of the weekend. Governor Nikki Haley has been the target of an ethics investigation concerning improper practices revolving around her election finances and bookkeeping issues. Several state Democratic legislators have brought forth a bill to provide more transparency in state politics and government. As a member of the House, as, as members of the public, I think that's a disservice to the people of South Carolina. When people went to the polls in 2010, they voted for someone they wanted to be transparent. Uh, once again, the governor has failed on, on that front. Uh, what, what the people of South Carolina wanted was, was water, and what they've gotten is, is, is Coca-Cola. I mean, there's no transparency there. It's, it's, a, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a farce to say that she's the transparency governor. Uh, but, but as far as the, the ethics committee goes, uh, I think if you look at the bills that, that Representative Jane Smith and Leon Savernakis and I introduced a few weeks ago, we were trying to do away with the ethics committee. But right now we have to deal with the hand we're dealt. We have to work with the hand we're dealt. Uh, with that said, I think it would be I think it's imperative for Governor Haley to come out and say, you know, I want to open this up. I want to give you full disclosure. And I want to make this a, uh, I, I want the public to know exactly what's going on in my administration. For her not to do that is, hip is hypocritical and, uh, and, and it's a shame for the people of South Carolina. South Carolina GOP Executive Director Matt Moore downplayed the effort. Pro probable cause does not mean guilt. Let's be clear about that. Uh, they're investigating. This kind of investigation needs to take their course and not be subjected to this kind of political theater the Democrats are, uh, are trying to inject into the process. Like I said, what's good for the goose in, the, in this case is obviously not good for the gander. They're, they're politically grandstanding and, and trying to find ways to highlight what for them was a losing candidate, Vince Chahini, in 2010. I also had the opportunity to speak with two of the candidates for the House District 70 seat to get their perspective as candidates as it relates to transparency in government. Um, I think it's something that we need. Uh, I think it's something for the people to uh, have the right to look at what's going on from the people that they elect. Accountability. That's something that we need in South Carolina. That's something that the people deserve. So I'm all for it. Um, as a candidate, I would, um, part of our campaign is fighting for the people being a voice of other people and accountability is part of that. Well, I think this bill on transparency is a step in the right direction. Uh, there is definitely a need for more transparency in, in state government. Uh, as you know, the Free Times recently did an article called The State of Corruption where we received the failing grade. Um, there's definitely ne the need for transparency and I'm, I'm hoping that Democratic legislators as well as GOP legislators support this bill. But as a candidate, it just makes it more obvious. Um, th these charges against the governor being accused of ethics violation, these, these are very real charges. And I myself, as a candidate now, am facing an incumbent who has aligned himself with the governor. And he's part of that alliance of injustice. He's been voting with the governor 70% uh, of the 70 percent of the time and recently received a C when the, when the governor introduced her legislative report card. I think these are issues that the public needs to be, need to be aware of. 